this short video is to explain to you how fast typing is done. Now, fast typing is a process by which we use bacteriophages to type bacteria. The example we are going to use here is uh, MRSA. Let's assume that we have an MRSA outbreak or methicillin resistant staphylococcus outbreak in a hospital. There's a whole lot of patients who are coming down with methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus infection. And as you know, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus or MRSA can be very dangerous. It causes all kinds of infections, including surgical site infections, ventilator associated pneumonia, etc. So the first step would be to culture the bacteria from the patients as well as from the various healthcare workers. That's what HCW stands for. So in this example, we have the outbreak strain and we have uh, the samples from three healthcare workers labeled as HCW1 through HCW3. Now, before we start our culture, what we're going to do is at the back of the culture plate, we are going to draw a grid as shown in the figure. And then we are going to number the grid as shown in the figure. Uh, if you notice, you're seeing all the numbers as a mirror image. And the reason for that is because you are writing out these numbers at the back of the culture plate and you're looking at the culture plate from the top. So you grow the outbreak strain as well as the isolates from each of these healthcare workers. As you can see, the color of the plates has changed now because you have a nice lawn culture of the various isolates of Staphylococcus aureus from the patient who has the outbreak as well as each of the healthcare workers. Healthcare workers, if you recall, may be colonized, particularly in the anterior nares. So that's from where you would take a sample and try to culture the organism. Now, once you've got the cultures, the lawn cultures, as you can see in the animation, the next step would be to add the typing phages. Or the typing viruses. Anyway, phages are nothing but viruses that infect bacteria. So you're going to add the typing phages one square at a time. So each square in these plates will be exposed to a different phage. For example, square number one will be exposed to a particular phage as indicated by the blue dot which just flashed there. Square number two will be exposed to a different phage, number three, number four. So till we cover all the squares with different typing phages. Now, once we have done that, we incubate these plates. And after a set incubation time, we will notice that some of the squares demonstrate a clearing because the Staphylococcus aureus in those squares has been lysed by those particular phages. As you notice, no two staph in this example have the same appearance when it comes to the susceptibility to lytic phages. Some staph may have got lysed by number three, but the other staff may not have got lysed by number three, it would have got lysed by number two. So essentially all we do over here is we try to match the clearings that you get in the healthcare workers with the clearings that you see in the outbreak strain. Now, as you can see in our example, the outbreak strain or the phage type of the outbreak strain matches with healthcare worker number two. So healthcare worker number two is probably the source of the outbreak in this particular case. And this explains phage typing. 